Fix your motivation presence. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. The obstacle is the way. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. Hopefully who fears death will never do anything worth of a living man. It is not the events themselves that disturb people, but only their judgments about them. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. We should always be asking ourselves, is this something that is, or is not, in my control? No person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have, and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Be tolerant with others, and strict with yourself. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. No man is free who is not master of himself. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. The wise man does not grieve for things he does not have, but rejoices for those which he has. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future. Man conquers the world by conquering himself. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Circumstances do not make the man, they only reveal him to himself. What stands in the way becomes the way. No person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have, and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. It does not matter what you bear, but how you bear it. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. You don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. 
The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The first step in becoming a philosopher is to learn how to suspend judgment, to postpone, for a little while, making up your mind about any particular matter. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. He who has a why to live can bear almost anyhow. Wealth consists in not having great possessions, but in having few wants. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. No person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have, and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. The wise man knows that it is better to sit on the banks of a remote mountain stream than to be emperor of the whole world. To be even-minded is the greatest virtue. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. It is in your power to withdraw yourself whenever you desire. Perfect tranquility consists in the good ordering of the mind. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. What is bad for the heart is good for the art. Nothing happens to any man that he is not formed by nature to bear. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. The only way to be happy is to live in the present moment, and accept it as an unrepeatable miracle. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. To live happily is an inward power of the soul.